The North has chosen its preferred presidential candidate, Ango Abdullahi. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Convener of Northern Elders Forum, NEF, and former Vice Chancellor of the Ahmedou Bello University, Zaria Kaduna, Professor Ango Abdullahi speaks to Dari Adekambi on the North's position on the February 25th presidential election. Dismissing the claim that the governors will decide where the votes will swing speaks on the need to think up with the political structure of a country, among other issues. The narrow scarcity occasioned by the money redesign policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, is being greeted with mixed reactions. While some are saying it will help curb vote buying, others feel it is piling to the pressure on ordinary Nigerians. Where do you stand on this? And he replied, the courts are there to resolve the matter if there are people with different positions and arguments on the policy. The resolution of the differences can only be solved in the court of law. It looks to me that so many stakeholders are already in court and one can hear verdict coming from the court, including the Supreme Court, about what is right or what is wrong. So there is not much to say. They asked, last year you spoke strongly against vote buying and now we put the threat to free choice at elections. Don't you see this narrow policy as something that can, that can help stop or reduce votes merchandising? He replied, No, I do not think so. The people who buy votes are politicians, and it has so happened that each is a politician that are in control of the Central Bank of Nigeria and the commercial bank. So the fact that there is reprinting or redesigning of our Naira notes does not take away from politicians who rely on the system to control the supply of the old or the new currency so they can still go ahead with their practice of buying votes. All these are gimmicks. The real solution to vote buying is law enforcement and votes as education. The law should be able to catch those who are buying or selling their votes. By vote education here means people should be told that they should not sell their future for 5,000 or even 10,000 and suffer for another four or eight years. Just as the case may be, all these, are other, all these other things are just side talks. What do you make of the state of the presidential race among the four French runners? Senator Bola Metunbo of APC, Atiko Bubaka of the People Democratic Party, Peter B of the Labour Party, and of course, Rabi Yukong Paso of the New Nigerian People's Party. He replied, There are 18 candidates, not four. Only four of them are front runners. There are 18 of them from 18 political parties. And all of them are going to be on the ballot. I have not done any statistical investigation about who the people in Lagos are going to vote for or my people in Zaria. So it is difficult for me to see exactly because all the candidates are campaigning. Whichever candidate you look at, you find people dancing around him and you're not sure whether it is their fellow politicians who are dancing around them or it is the voters. You should be able to know that the frontline candidates are in the terms of who is spending what, who is attracting news items in his favor or against him and so on. The presidential candidates appeared before a Northern Group in Kaduna last year to discuss their plans for Nigeria and the North. You said, he replied, yes, five of them appeared before us and they told us what they plan to do. And we said we would follow them through their campaign. And we have been doing that to find out what they told us is what they are telling the electorate. In most cases, what they told us is not what they are telling the voters. They're not talking about issues. They're just fighting among themselves and calling themselves names. They're just throwing allegations and counter allegations among themselves. This is not a campaign based on issues. What we notice is that it has been a campaign based on who is mine and who is not mine. That is what is going on. I just read a news item coming shockingly from my point of view from an old person. He said if somebody is not elected, the country will go to pieces. That is very sad for Nigeria. He said NEF would unveil his preferred presidential candidates before the election. Have you reached that point now? They asked. He replied, We have reached that point, but I will not tell you who the person is for now. NEF is still discussing with other stakeholders from other parts of the country who are interested in the elections. Even today, Thursday, we are having a meeting with the representative of the Ohanese in Abuja. A meeting from the Northern Elders Forum and Ohanese. He replied, Yes. Representative of NEF and Ohanese are meeting right now, and we do not know the outcome of the discussion yet. When they are ready to tell us what they agree on, we will let you know. 
They asked, I know the South, those people are saying it is a turn, but one of the most formidable candidates from the South is Senator Turnbull, who is also saying it is his turn to be president. He replied, Look, you're a Yoruba person. Do you remember that Obasanjo was president for eight years? Do you also remember that Usibanjo, his current vice president, will have spent eight years by me? Do you remember that you not voted overwhelmingly for M. Kwabiola? Why are you then saying it is your turn again? They asked, Tunumbu feels that having supported Buhari to be president, power should rotate back to the south and it should be his turn. He, will, the, he replied, it is not only Tunumbu, he must be speaking on behalf of somebody. First and foremost, he must be speaking on behalf of himself and his family and the Yoruba. So what do you expect the Igbo to be doing? They too should be speaking on behalf of themselves and their son. On that logic, if the Yoruba says it's their turn and the Igbo even more justifiably says it's their turn, and we do not have cities at turn, then it looks like it's everybody's turn. This is what I am telling you. The campaign is not based on issues, principles, and the basic tenets of democracy. So whether na issue or whether na emilo con, let's wait and see who is going to carry the day. They asked, in terms of equity and fairness, whose turn do you think it should be? What is equity? In the democratic system that you are practicing, there is nothing like equity here. In the United States, when Nigeria built its presidential system, do they campaign based on equity or whether the candidate is from Oregon or New York or Los Angeles? No, they campaign on the basis of issues and the best candidate wins on the basis of one man, one vote. So this is what we expect Nigeria to respect, but apparently they are not respecting it. APC controls most states in the north and that makes Tunibu to stand a good chance in the north, although there are fears of possible betrayal from the north. He replied, you think because APC has more state in the north than any other party, the governors will consequently swing votes for Tinebo? Well, let us all wait and see whether they can. Each of the all progressive Congress governors has only one vote like every other voter in the north. You think APC governors will sit down and be calling the voters to tell them where they'll put their votes? They asked, the Cardinal State Governor, Malam Nero Sarafai, has said the north to support Tinebo and support the clamor for power to shift back to the south. Who is he? Who is that one? He replied. Let us wait for him to deliver the votes to wherever he wants the votes to go. What I know is that at the end of the day, it is the voters who will deliver the votes. That is my position. It is not the governors that will deliver the votes. The vote casts are the ones that will be counted, and those votes will determine who has won and who has lost. He, they asked, are you not worried about power remaining in the north after Buhari in Northern has concluded eight years? Why should I worry over that? Power can stay in the north or the southwest for another 16 or 20 years as long as the election is based on one man, one vote. It does not matter. This is what we have. If you want to change things, you have to change the system first to say that it is no longer one man, one vote. It is something else that will determine where the leadership will come from. But as long as it is one man, one vote, the leadership of the country can come from anywhere. We do not even know where it will come from until the votes are counted. That is how it is. Well, uh, Amor, this is a whole lot. I am learning and I'm seeing some things, but maybe we just see how it will go. This man, and this, he said there is nothing like equity that in the abroad will be say then in a copy their democracy, they don't get equity. Maybe we share the watch the lecture. But I know where there is no equity, there is no justice. And where there is no justice, there is no peace. And where there is no peace, there is absolutely no progress. That is what I know. Okay, and those notes, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.